Welcome everyone to Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a video to talk about the new brands of equipment coming to the new Farming Simulator 25. Uh, first off, if you have not pre-ordered yet, please do so. There is a link down below in the description. Go ahead and take that out to check out or use code Farmer Cop when you're checking out the Giants website uh, to be able to go to support the channel at no additional cost to you. It seriously does help out a ton. So thank you for that. Um, but anyhow, let's jump into equipment. So the main question we are here to answer is, what new brands and equipment will be coming into the game? Well, we don't have a clear idea of everything yet when it comes to equipment, but we do have a pretty good idea on several of the new brands between what has been announced and what we have seen and what we know from the past. So a couple notes on this information and how I got it. Um, I got it from the blog post from Giants. I got it from uh, screenshots. I also got it from the cinematic trailer from things that were seen in there and also information on old games and brands listed for Farming Simulator 22 and such like that. Obviously, we don't know all the brands coming um, yet to Farming Simulator 25, but we can kind of guess and have a pretty good idea so far. So first off, the Giants blog post that they posted when they announced Farming Simulator 25 on Tuesday um, they said that, well, I'll read it to you, over 400 authentic machines and items from more than 150 international top brands like Case IH, Kloss, Fent, John Deere, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Valtra, and many more will allow you to engage in agriculture, forestry, and animal husbandry. Whether you build your legacy single-handedly or cooperatively in multiplayer, you decide. So, what do we learn from this? So we know that we have 400 authentic machines. Yep, that's great. We're not going to be able to guess every single one of those 400 machines. Uh, we can assume that a lot of those are going to be already in Farming Simulator 22. Uh, more than 150 international top brands. Well, I can come up with a list of about oh, 180 or so uh, brands that I think we're going to have, or I'm pretty sure we're going to have in Farming Simulator 25. So we'll cover all those. Um, now, what we do see here, the only kind of new brand announced here is Kubota, which, yes, you might say Kubota is not a new brand. We had a DLC with it, but it wasn't in the base game. So now that it's going to be in the base game, that is technically a new brand. So we do have that as a new brand. So going forward from there, um, in FS22, we have a total of 190 brands in the base game. So if we take 31 of those away because they are not equipment brands, such as sheds and silos and things like that, and of course, I also removed Lizard because it's not a real brand. It's the Giants brand. That leaves us with 159 brands. Plus Kubota is specifically mentioned in the blog. And we get another, uh, and then we get other DLC equipment from brands to add an additional 21 to get 181 if you include uh, Kubota. So 21 plus Kubota is 22 to get 881 from 159. And we know there'll be over 150 and we're already well over that number. So um, <laughs> it's going to be difficult to specifically narrow it down, but let's talk about the games or the brands that we know or should be coming to the game um, that have not been announced yet or have been announced yet. So what brands will be coming? Again, the blog post confirms Kubota. Kubota will be in the base game. It was a DLC before. And then thinking off of that same thought track, we know that when DLCs are in past games, sometimes they announce or they put those new brands into um, the next game. Now, the DLCs I didn't kind of include in this is any third-party DLCs. So Pumps and Hoses, those brands may or may not be coming to Farming Simulator because it's part of a third-party DLC, and anything that came with the Farm Production Pack, which I don't actually know if there's any new brands in there or not. So, But we're not going to get into it. We don't need to talk about the Farm Production Pack. We don't need to be any angrier than we already are. So um, <laughs> moving forward, which other DLCs I predict, and hopefully I did not miss any here, that will be get in the brands that are not part of the base game for FS22. So there's a long list here. Here are all of them. This is, I'm, I already talked about Kubota, but here are the other ones that were not in Farming Simulator 22 in the base game, but were added as DLCs that are very good possibilities to be in the new game. Uh, so we have DeWolf, which DeWolf, I will say as well, is extremely, I mean, I'm almost 100% sure that'll be in there because I guarantee we're going to get red beets, parsnips, and carrots as crops in the new game, and we'll need the DeWolf equipment that was from the premium expansion to put that in there. So DeWolf will be in most likely. Um, then we also have Gorink, Agrio, Wefo, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing some of these wrong, Fiat, which I actually thought Fiat was in the base game, but it wasn't actually. It was added in a DLC when we got some Fiat equipment. Um, Oxbow, uh, Govio, Antonio Carraro. I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. I'm just kidding. Uh, Antonio Carraro is great uh, vineyard work, but not a lot of people do vineyard work in the game, unfortunately. Um, we will also probably have the Arrow brand, which we had a great player re release for that. Uh, Reform, uh, Brillmeyer, Reader, Impex, Volvo, uh, Pavanzelt, uh, Koshin Ruther. Again, here's where my pronunciations are going to get real bad. Uh, Kohler Forsten Nick. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Tajfin, uh, Schwarzmuller, uh, Raisu Tech, and West Tech. So 
that is the other ones that are in there. Hope I didn't miss any. Um, so assuming all of these DLC brands that were added um, as DLCs are coming to the new game, uh, since they're not in base game before, we now have to look at just another few other brands that are flat out um, announced and flat out shown off that we know will be in there. Um, and so this is before it gets tricky in terms of guessing what brands are going to be in there. These are another five that were added in. Again, this is from seeing the trailer, official announcements, and screenshots. So Kubota, not going to mention it. We already mentioned that one. Um, so the other five we have is Macdon. We know we're getting Macdon as a new brand. We haven't seen that before. And we have the pre-order bonus being Macdon. So we know Macdon's coming. I'm assuming they'll have something from Macdon in the base game that's outside of the pre-order pack, but I could be completely wrong. Macdon actually could not be a base game item. Um, then we also saw on a screenshot a Missouri Cedar uh, being pulled, so that's another big deal there, another brand there. Uh, we also saw Summers as a new brand coming in the trailer. We saw the Big Case Quad Track, which is a new tractor to the game, but a new, not a new brand, was pulling a Summers Cultivator, which we don't have Summers branded stuff in the base game of FS22. Um, then we also have JNM as a new brand. That was a grain cart that was in the trailer. And then uh, Aprilia uh, as a new brand of, well, dirt bike and maybe other bikes, motorcycles, we'll kind of see. I'm not sure everything that Aprilia makes or any of these brands make, but those brands were all shown off. Aprilia was in there when in the trailer they're riding that little dirt bike. So pretty cool. Um, but anyhow, this is all we have confirmed so far. But what else could there be? With these five new brands, we are now up to 186 as really strong possibilities for the base game of Farming Simulator 25. So Giants really didn't give anything away when they said, oh, more than 150 brands. Yeah, we probably could have assumed that it's gonna be quite a bit. Um, so yeah, you know, and it is again, definitely possible. Some of these DLC brands don't actually make it into the base game. That's totally possible and actually kind of likely. I bet you not all of these will make it. Most of them probably will, and they'll still be licensed with Giants so people can make mods of them and such like that. But I bet not all of them will come to the base game, but probably most of them will. Um, so. I was trying to find other strong possibilities for the base game. So if we think about like new crops like rice, um, I actually, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if spinach is going to be like a field crop. I'm kind of thinking it might be a greenhouse one. Um, I don't know. I could be completely wrong on that. But anyhow, um, rice we know for sure is coming. That's kind of the big um, flagship crop, if you will, that's coming with the new game. Um, so yeah, I was looking up like stuff that would do rice work and most of it is from Kubota and Iseki. So those are kind of the brands that we already have and know we're going to have. Um, we're going to get some new equipment for them for sure. Definitely some new Kubota and Iseki equipment, which would be really cool. Uh, but we don't have anything really special there to look at um, because it's not any new brands. Um, and I did try to do some research to try to find um, new brands that could be coming. And this is honestly very difficult outside of just looking up every machinery brand in the world and then trying to guess from there, um, which would have taken me probably days to do. Um, there wasn't really anything obvious that stood out to me. Uh, but let me know down in the description or down, not in the description, excuse me, down in the comments what you guys want to see or what you think is coming to the game. Uh, what are some ones that I missed that I didn't put on this list here um, that are definitely coming to the new game or you think are coming to the new game? Just let me know. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.